landing. With collective pitch is reduced slightly in a hover inside ground effect, the helicopter descends but settles again at the height where ground effect has increased so that total rotor thrust is equal to the all up mass. A progressive lowering of the collective pitch lever is required to achieve a smooth steady descent until the aircraft is on the ground and the mass is supported by the undercarriage. Rolling landing Where there is a likelihood of not being able to enter the hover on landing, the rolling technique is used. The rate of descent should be at the minimum for the forward speed to take advantage of translational lift whilst touching down. Zero speed landing Similar to the rolling landing, but used where obstructions prevent any forward movement after touchdown. A high degree of skill is required by the pilot as he must judge exactly the point where the translational lift stops with the speed at zero. Downwind landings Downwind landings should be avoided wherever possible because of limited rearward cyclic control. Tailwinds affect stabilizer effectiveness and reduce longitudinal stability. All of this demands additional pilot skill. Alternate landing procedures. When the helicopter is close to the ground, the tip vortices are larger and more unstable which causes both variation in the thrust around the rotor disc and turbulence around the tail and thus makes control difficult. For this reason the helicopter is normally landed firmly to decrease the chance of drifting when touching down. <laughs>